Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on completing a square. Now this is one of the hardest topics in the whole course, but it's a very useful way to help you uh, solve quadratic expressions and find the turning points of quadratic graphs. So we'll run through the formula first of all for this method, then we'll explain why it's very useful. So uh, if we start by looking at the general form of a quadratic, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, so a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the number on the end of the quadratic. Now we can rewrite this in the form a lots of x plus d all squared plus e. So here uh, d and e are two constants which we have to determine. a is the coefficient of x squared as it is above. Now we can determine the values of d and e using two specific formulas which are d is equal to b over 2a, so that's the coefficient of x divided by 2 times at the coefficient of x squared and e is equal to c minus b squared over 4a. So when we put this expression ax squared plus bx plus c into this form this is known as completing the square. You don't specifically have to remember the values of d and e here, uh, these are just formulas that can help you if you want to remember them but there are other ways to work these out and we'll go through those in the next video. Now before we finish up this video I'm going to run through why this is useful, seeing as though at the moment it just seems a bit complicated and a bit abstract. And the reason this is, is if uh, we first of all set this equal to zero, we have an expression that we can solve here for x. It's not too difficult to do that, you should end up with two solutions. Uh, but the other thing is if we set this equal to y, so we now have a graph here of y equals a lots of x plus d or squared plus e, we can fairly easily find the turning points of this graph. So I'm going to focus in on this part here, x plus d all squared. So if x plus d is negative, when we square it, it becomes positive. And if x plus d is already positive, when we square it, it stays positive. So that means that the smallest value that x plus d can be is just 0. And that happens when x equals minus d. So when we have x equal to minus d, uh, a lots of x plus d all squared just becomes zero and then we're left with y equals e and now these are our turning points of the quadratic so why is this the case well if x plus d squared can take a minimum value of zero then the minimum value of y is going to be when this is equal to zero because we're adding e onto the end now i should point out that this is going to be a maximum point in the curve when a is negative and a minimum point in the curve when a is positive Completing the square is one of the hardest topics in GCSE Maths, so if you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.